Yeah, if you don't know who Flight of the Concords is, guys, you are missing out. Just gotta say, business time, man. And we're gonna be talking about Sweet Business, which is an exotic auto rifle here in Destiny 2. And let me say, this is a a weapon. I gotta wonder what the talk was inside uh, Bungie Studios when they were making this weapon. Like, hey, we need a we need a Gatling gun. <laughs> and it needs to be mobile, man. This weapon is uh, intimidation factor like 100 out of 10, man. I mean, straight up nasty as hell. Love the handle on the side. Shit so bad, you need an extra handle to hang on to this shit. So, let's talk about this weapon, man. Is it good? Is it bad? Should you be using it? Now, right off the bat, we're gonna hit up some of these perks. The Payday Intrinsic Perk. A large magazine, increased accuracy when fire from the hip now you're gonna see a lot of this gameplay i'm doing a lot of pre-firing that's because you know that's that's how you take advantage of this weapon man you're gonna really get into that and start pre-firing and most of the time when you're pre-firing you might be firing from the hip i know i am because i'm trying to register where everyone is on the radar and so if someone actually does tend to push up on you that little bit of accuracy does help man in terms of just grabbing a few shots before you just unload in their faces now let's talk about polygonal rifling now this barrel optimizes for recoil reduction increase stability that's always a pro high caliber rounds is a huge pro as well you got the slight increase in range but i like the fact that you just flinch the shit out of people that's really nice now moving on to the business time trait holding down the trigger boosts this weapon's range and rate of fire automatically loads ammo pickups into the magazine man if this gun is just not designed just to unload into fucking people i don't know what is now i will say another thing about this weapon i do tend to run out of ammo with this gun okay i, I tend to do that because i do a lot of pre-fire but at the same time in the future when we're actually got all these different armor perks and whatnot i wonder if we can load out stuff for extra you know either primary or kinetic ammo or maybe some extra just auto directly auto rifle ammo to begin with uh that would be nice man can you imagine going into the game with just like 2,000 rounds i don't think we would ever get into that situation but if we did oh man i'm gonna light them fucking people up now let's talk about composite stock i can't say words i'm sorry this weapon has versatile dual purpose stock Slightly increases stability, slightly increases handling speed. That is needed because that handling is horseshit. Look at that. That's terrible. I know it. I get it, guys. It's not necessarily the best. It is going to be something that takes some adjusting to. Well, so let's talk about this weapon, guys. Is this the gun you should be using? Now, straight up intimidation factor. Again, guys, it's it's nasty. I mean, there's nothing. <laughs> you can't get around it, man. It looks like a beast. Uh, but does it perform like a beast? Um, kind of. That's kind of. There is a learning curve here, as in, as I was using this weapon, I realized that I cannot play like the ape that I wish I could play as, like I mostly do, okay? Normally, I'm rocking like a hand cannon SMG, I'm all up in people's faces, man, I'm going in for the kill, man, I'm going for blood! But this gun, it's kind of kind of different, man, it's like, hey, man, hold up, you want to go in, you want to set up real quick, you want to get posted somewhere, uh, you want to go ahead and, 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 and let, let this thing sit up on a bipod, baby, and you just want to just start pumping into people, dude, and that's another thing. You really got to get used to pre-firing, and that is a learning curve. So the numbers are actually, it's like 300 rounds per minute. Um, now, it actually will jump up to 900 rounds per minute when in, in full torque, man. But at the same time, that takes a little bit of time. It actually takes uh, nearly two seconds. Somebody actually calculated around 1.7 seconds to actually hit its maxed out rate of fire. And that's... Uh, you know, that's kind of long, guys. You gotta you gotta understand, 1.7 seconds, even now in Destiny 2, hell, a gunfight could be over and y'all be eating dinner, man. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of shit can happen in that amount of time. So you gotta be thinking on your feet, man. You gotta be looking at your radar, have some Inception shit going on. Where's people coming from? What are they doing? Are they about to peak this area? The best way to do it is just hit the crowded lanes. Go to areas that are that are full of people, man, uh, and just hit everybody. Hit casualties uh, out the roof. Just pump ammo, children women whatever the case you just fucking keep just just mowing down people and the best way to do that is of course with the titan barricade the, the little half barricade you drop that thing you just crouch to reload again go back over it and you've got a consistent line of fire to eat people up guys it's a great exotic i actually i got a lot of love for this gun just for the fact that it's so unique and on top of that i like that it's got a little bit of a learning curve it's not just some basic auto rifle that's been presented to us Try it out for yourself, fellas, and let me know in the comments below what you think about it. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.